What up guys, your boy Kyle this and I'm back with another one. Now I have a question for y'all, it's a very short video. Are Odin's Ravens worth it? Now this is all gonna be opinion based, however you feel may not be how I feel and that's completely fine. There are six chests in Niflheim, we all know about that. I'm pretty sure you all know that you get armor for the first three chests, that's what I'm currently wearing in the background right now and that's a healing armor or a healing set, I guess I should say. Now in my opinion, I don't think that armor is that great at all. Even with like mixing and matching with other armors and the right amulets, the healing can be good but who wants to rock a healing armor when you can rock a full damage armor and just blow bosses up. That's my mind. Now, you're different from me. I get that. Maybe you want to rock healing armor. Maybe you like it. I don't think the armor's worth it. But there are three other chests on the other side. What's in those? Are those worth getting it? And then after the sixth chest that you open, there's a seventh secret. Let's go ahead and get into it and we'll talk about it a little bit more. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this real quick. Most of you already know what this armor is, so I'm not going to touch base with it too much. Hitting enemies have low luck chance to grant healing mist. Now, that healing mist doesn't happen a lot because it is a low luck chance. And when it does happen, it's just underwhelming. I don't feel like it's that great but that's my opinion now you couple that with the wrist and the waist armor and you get 30 percent increased healing from all things health stones rage and gear which will obviously add 30 percent to this healing mist but in my opinion why would i run this chest piece when i can run the steinborn placard be a little bit tankier and then when i start to restore health and or have life steal I have 30% more life still based off the wrist and the armor. And if I was gonna couple with any ambulance, I would run these right here. Obviously I don't have the requirements to run these, but you definitely can if you build for a health build and these would help tremendously with a health build built. Going over what the other three chests do, they give you something for all three weapons, and what that is, is a heavy runic attack. For the first one, you have Breath of Thalmor. I really like this ability. I liked it in the first one. I think it's very strong, and I think it's worth going after. As far as Blades of Chaos, Meteoric Slam, not my favorite. It's not the best. I mean, it, it does good crowd control, but it's pretty bad against bosses. And last but not least, for Drop Near, you get the Finger of Rune. Now, in my opinion, this is the strongest runic attack for the spear. It is my all-time favorite so you know if you want to go for it you have to have 48 ravens to be able to get it so you know, there's that now at the beginning of the video i said there's actually a seven secret let's go over that real quick Why 
Why not? the ravens, the children, appreciated it as well. Is there nothing to be done for them? I believe we have done something. Perhaps. Alright guys, so this is the amulet that you get. Obviously I like it because I love running the Niflheim set just because you get more melee damage when you're above 75% and this one gives you 20 strength and I'm a strength guy. If you're not into that, then don't worry about it. As far as the relic, this is what you get, Hilt of Force Brander, and what that does is pushes enemies back with a force and grants an aura of protection, which makes you a little bit tankier. Let's go ahead and just showcase that real quick. I'm ready. Now this will work really good against mobs if you're trying to push them back. It's better to group them up but for the video time's sake. I'm just gonna go and run and do it real quick. As you can see, we're kind of tanky now. We just ate a hit. Let's eat some attacks with this on. All right, we can go right into it. That's not that bad, but overall, it's not that great. So that's up to you. All right, guys, it pretty much sums it up. As far as my opinion goes, I don't really feel like it's worth it to get all Odin's Ravens, but if you're somebody who wants to 100% the game and you have to do that, then yeah, go for it. Your opinion is definitely different than mine. Maybe you think it's worth it. You got to see everything here now, so do what you want to do. Anyways, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the future. Later, guys.